Oi Charlies, welcome back to the Live for Life, back with another one. Y'all thought the first one would be the last one because it sucked. No, we're back, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to show you guys that I don't rate you, I'm wearing a gown. Um, as usual, we're here with the, a staple of this podcast, Joel Miru. A very up? big staple. My man, uh, it's not Joel Miro over here on the podcast. It's Joey Badass. Uh, oh, always yes. remember that. I'm happy oh, and excited to be back. I've been bullying um, Leffa about these type of videos. Like Leffa, Leffa's channel has no... It lacks a category. And uh, yeah, this is one of the reactions. I'm actually really excited to see uh, what um, this reaction video has to offer, bro. But yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, we don't, we're not, we're, we're keeping interest short in 2021, <laughs> so we're, we're just going to get started. What is this? Um, 11 myths you so strongly keep believing. Okay. There are so many false myths we spread from day to day that it's about time the world of science created a separate department dedicated to myth debunking. Otherwise, people will continue believing that the sun is yellow, beer makes you gain weight, and that it's okay to rinse your mouth out with water after brushing your teeth. Watch this video to see how some of the most acceptable facts are completely untrue. Doesn't beer make Don't you forget gain to weight? click the subscribe button and well, turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. I don't even know, dude. I don't know facts like you do. I was always terrible at general knowledge. I'm Myth be honest. number 11. Certain parts of the tongue are sensitive to just one taste. What? At the beginning of the 20th century. So they said myth number 11. Certain parts of the tongue are only sensitive to one taste. I didn't even know that myth, so we can just... Allow that. Yeah. German scientist D.P. Hannig came to the conclusion that different parts of the tongue are equally capable of determining taste, although the reaction time is somewhat different. After years of research, oh, scientists confirmed the statement. So then, how was the myth born? It turns out that Edwin Boring, a psychologist at Harvard University, of course, made a mistake. Psychologists are such frauds. Bro, psychologists can I tell you are something? such frauds. The fact that they also have doctor in front of their names, in front of their doctor, bro, their, their, their titles, is just a danger to society, that team. Bro, that title that we give bored. to psychologists all willy-nilly is a danger to... Bro. And I have a bad psychologist Not friends, even. and I want them to know that I, this is how I feel. You <coughs> lot are frauds. This man just made a thing. Goli, um, well, I think, Goli, I think some, you're a fraud. Some parts of the... <laughs> Goli, fraud. Denzolo, fraud. Linda, fraud. Queen, fraud. <laughs> Nami, fraud, all of you is frauds. Anyway, um, bro, you came for your whole squad, bro. No, <laughs> you listen, came for the listen, whole the, squad. the fact that a psychologist bang out of nowhere, you just woke up in the morning and decided that some parts of the tongue taste different things and some don't, just you know, because he felt like it, and that's exactly what <laughs> oh they think. I swear, bro, ADHD, some person was just like, you know what, I feel like Dude. I'm inventing a disease today. Let's just keep going, bro. Let's just keep going, bro. You know what, the worst thing is. <laughs> this guy came for the whole squad, bro. But like, that is true, dude. Like, with with the psychologists, thing is I'm, sp yeah, I'm this, spitting yeah. facts, and they know that I'm spitting facts. <laughs> and they're gonna come at me in the comments, but I'm okay. I'm spitting facts. Mistake when he translated the works of the German scientist. This error caused everyone to believe that the tip of the tongue can taste sweet foods, the back of the tongue can taste bitter foods, and the lateral parts of the but tongue you must can be taste bored sour if you're and salty food. Dude, like, he's bo like this they're out. bored, that's what I'm saying. And they're creative as well with their lies. Myth number 10. Bro. Men get beer bellies from beer. Dude, that's what I thought. No, 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 shut up, Same. right? No, no, Men no. Get Look, beer bellies. No, it's not even like they, you can't convince me otherwise, bro. My you can't. Too many of my uncles, bro. Too many of my uncles have hectic bellies bro exactly like, there's no, no so, way so, so we're not those guys drink two heineken listen listen we're just they, they're lying let's just listen to the lies yeah don't blame the beer for the belly it is widely believed that men who constantly drink beer end up with a protruding beer belly yes. but it's not the beer that's to blame for this so much as the abundance of unhealthy snacks that often accompany the intoxicating drink the alcohol in beer irritates the gastric mucosa thereby causing Shut an up. increased appetite but that's not all. What? Dr. Michael Jensen in entry. Basically, they're saying like beer is kind of like weed. It gives you munchies and those munchies are basically what makes you fat. And that's lies. That's, that's lies, a lie, bro. Why does it all go And here's the stomach? thing. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be rude, nah. 
Yeah. Um, Dr. Dr. Michael Jensen over here, he looks like a fit or like a non mukaba holding white man. Okay. Yeah. I'm not trying to yeah. be rude, so doctor, does he know about but it? like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know anything about like, come to Africa, bro. Everybody who drinks beer has a beer belly. You can't afford, you bro. can't convince me otherwise. Just stop lying. Bro. Let's continue with this thing. <laughs> A chronologist and obesity specialist at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, USA, says that drinking beer makes the liver burn alcohol instead of fat, leaving well, the latter to bored, accumulate bro. in the waste. And why there exactly? Due to the physiological characteristics of men, fat is stored in the abdomen. In women, it accumulates in the hips and buttocks. Amen. <laughs> Myth number nine. Dogs see the world in black and white. But when this we is were true. children, most of us were told that dogs see the world in black and white. The truth is that they can distinguish colors, just not in the same way we do. Jay Neitz from the University of Washington in Seattle proved that our furry friends are able to perceive a limited range of colors, meaning that they can distinguish objects of the same shape. In general, a dog's vision is That's very similar why. to that of a person with red-green color blindness. Oh my soul. That's why... Oh. No, no, no. It makes sense. So they're color it blind, they're just not... They, so the thing about it is that when when human beings, I was the same before I learned about like the 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 spectrum of like visible light and all that stuff. I used yeah. to think that when someone is color blind, that means they don't see colors; they just see black and white. But yeah, dude, blind, like an old phone. Yeah, but color blind really just means that you don't see colors the way you're supposed to see them. You don't see them like you don't. Your oh. brain doesn't process incoming light. But why do the you way call it color blind? Nah, um, dude. I don't know. Dude. No, that's like that's like, like, like having. It should be called like color disability or something like that. I don't color know. limitedness it, or like yeah, limit, yeah, yeah, uh, like yeah. color LTD or you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you just put a small, a small color thing limited. there because I know, I hear bro, you. No, I hear imagine, you. imagine, imagine, so like I literally, now. I fell once and I, I, I just need to wear a knee guard whenever I play football. Now I'm disabled. Come on, bro. Like that. Yeah, that's no, like, that's, that's, that's basically are, the equivalent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's like a, it's like a misunderstanding, basically. Because I also yeah, thought that. No, I, not I a misunderstanding. This is a. Mean. This is not a misunderstanding. This is a misdiagnosis, bruv. Like I can still <laughs> see, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying us thinking that colorblind means black and white. That's a mis That's a misunderstanding. Yeah, that's a mis that's a misconception. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Your body will explode in space. As no, it'll as just freeze. Where did that myth even come from? It's quite possible that you may find yourself searching for tickets to outer space within your lifetime. So let's get something out of the way now. The fear of exploding in outer space is not something that should hold you back. No, you won't instantly explode as soon as you step out. However, after about 30 seconds, you won't be able to breathe because there's no oxygen. Yeah. So make sure your outer space door package includes a protective suit and plenty of oxygen. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey bro. What? What's up? Um, one day I'm gonna take my girlfriend. Um, what's it called? To space. Just to explain to her that I need space. Myth number four: The sun is <laughs> yellow. Take a second to remember all of your childhood drawings: the green hills. <laughs> Ah, oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Yo, nah, yeah. Joel's never coming back. I'm telling you, Joel's never coming back. Hey, yo, Please. guys, it's currently, yo. bro, we're recording this video. Guys, we're, we're recording, recording this, this at video. 1 it's 1 a.m. Right at now. 10 past 1. Of course, my, my jokes are dead, blood. Like, I'm up at okay. this time. So, I just heard what this myth is. This myth is that the, the sun is yellow. I've always actually known that the sun is not yellow but i'm very interested in astronomy it's uh, so. exactly red it, it's exactly red i used to use the red crayons when i was a kid i was smart bruv like you have to mix the red and the yellow crayons together for you to get the color it's not yellow please you can you can continue no we're not continuing anything you're dumb <laughs> you're dumb <laughs> you are bro what what what, what what did you draw so you drew it you drew it like it was a sunflower cuz you saw the sunflower no no bro, it was, you have it was to it's use, white you have to doesn't matter what I, what i drew it what? as the fact of the matter is that the sun is white yeah it's the sun is white no 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 why does the sun got to be white nah that's some racism right there nah bruv nah bruv they can't have everything blood nah nah mate continue the video thing bruv the tall trees the blue skies and uh, what else oh yes 
the yellow sun. Can I tell you why it looks yellow? Bro, I'm watching the video. They got, the video is going to tell me. You don't have okay, to tell me anything. Cool, I'm not going cool, 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 cool. to uh, learn just, from anything. I was just trying to sound smart, you know, because I know what they're going to say. But it's fine. Let's continue. Let the, big man The sun is not yellow at all. Yes, it may look yellow. Sunlight appears yellow. And when the sun comes out, everything does look, well, a lot more yellow. So what color is it then? It's actually white. The sun appears no, yellow to us. No, I refuse. What? So the sun is a white man. Stop it, man. It's a white no, star. Okay, okay, it's okay. a white star. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a dwarf. No, it's not a dwarf. What is it? I forgot, but it's a star that's still white. Because stars change color. You get them yellow. You get them red. You get them white. Ours is in the, is in the time in its lifetime when it's white it's just white that's what it is uh, bro that's actually interesting i never guessed it but i really did think it was red like when i was a kid i used the crayons and stuff and i think i was right so i guess we were all wrong it's been an amazing experience until next time it's been liffa and joey badass ciao so i went to the best friend i had that's my mother. And she said...